Hello everyone, here's a quick uh, video walkthrough of our golf cart uh, parade float this year. Um, so this is I think the eighth year we've been doing this for the community um, and this is this year's entry. So I just kind of want to walk through it. So I remember what I did, um, you know, if anyone else is building a float um, and also some of the Christmas light uh, forums I'm in, um, this gives anyone any ideas. So to kind of walk around, um, probably start with the, uh, the big giant pixel panels here. So. Um, each of these panels, there's four of them around the cart. Um, each of these are uh, 24 by 48 um, at two inches uh, spacing. Um, so these are all pixel lights. They're RGB. Um, they can do any color. Um, and so you can make the video effects and going up and down and blink and whatever you want to do um, throughout the whole cart. Um, these are actually all powered by, and it's actually back up in here, there's a, a Falcon controller. So I'm running a Falcon F16 V3. Um, it's in one of the boxes down here. Actually, I have a, another one I'll show you right just for just so it makes sense. So this is actually a, a full same units in the, in the golf cart, but we, use, uh, we have a couple of these for the house. Um, but there's actually a Falcon cart up here. Um, that's the pixel controller, um, an expansion, um, and then there's some additional um, cords there and, and uh, power units just to distribute additional power for uh, power injection. Uh, down below, um, there's two HP uh, power supplies. Um, they're 12 volt and each of them I think put out 750 watts so there's about 1500 watts of DC 12 volt power coming out of one of these uh, units. So all these then are actually um, coming through they get their source um, from I'll show you from the camera here. Um, so actually using um, a Raspberry Pi so up in here we have um, Raspberry Pi 4 um, which is running FPP and then talks to the Falcon controller right down below it. Um, and then for network then, um, there's actually a, a router, a Wi-Fi 6 router. Um, so actually driving the float around, you can actually ex access everything through the phone, advanced songs, uh, music, whatever you want to do um, through your phone. Um, so next system, let's talk about lights real quick. Um, so a bunch of these cheap kind of sound controlled um, lights up here. Um, they have lasers and a uh, little kind of a, a strobe effect, um, some UV black light and kind of the crystal ball. Um, they are all sound activated. Um, there's some more um, spider lights, um, four way to kind of do the moving effect um, with a couple different lights. Uh, more lasers, strobe lights. Um, these are pretty big lasers here. They're still a uh, class two, so no, you know, no real risk there, but I do keep everything aimed up at the, at this, at the uh, sky. Um, the intent with all this is then, so when you're driving, the actual uh, parade uh, float where we drive, it's, there's a bunch of oak trees, so all these lasers and up lights are all shooting up and roughly going to music center is sound controlled. Um, I could, in theory, run DMX on all this. I've, I've done it for other projects, but for this, I just went quick and just used all the sound activated features. A um, couple more lights up in the front. Let me move up that direction. Kind of the same guy up here as, the, as in the back. It's sound activated um, with a kind of the same crystal ball head. And there's a big spider light up here. Um, it spins around. Um, the, the kind of lights move up, and there's a couple of lasers on that one too. And then the front, um, just to make the entrance, you got a couple more um, spider lights. Uh, these are also DMX controlled um, in sync. They, they're just one's a one's the master and it's talking to the other one, um, just to make sure that they're kind of coordinated. Um, moving over to audio then, um, so this, we took the roof off the cart, but normally there's the, the sound kind of bar up here, um, it, it blinks the music as well, um, that's all the sound, and this is kind of fun then, um, we upgraded the cart to lithium batteries uh, a couple years ago, so it's a 36 volt, um, lithium setup, so it only needs three batteries, um, each of those are a big 12 volt batteries, but then that black tube is actually a 500 watt subwoofer. Um, that uh, integrates with the uh, soundbar above, so it shakes the whole car. It sounds pretty good. Um, we normally have that, leave that in there year round, um, but just to give uh, some nice rattle of the cart. Uh, to supplement the sound, then we also added um, PA back here. So there's a, one of these cheap kind of battery powered PAs. Um, I'm sure, the wattage on it's probably over advertised, but um, it actually kind of fills up the back end, um, a little more bass, um, and it gives some more, you know, makes the audio experience uh, consistent throughout the whole cart. Um, but that's it. So just thought I would kind of share, um, give anyone some ideas, uh, reach out if you have any questions. Um, but that's it. And that's a wrap for this year. Thanks so much. Bye.